Hello everybody. Welcome to the Simple Spruce Studio in my segment of Craft Around the Clock. Guys, come on in and say hi. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Today, yeah, today is Tuesday. <laughs> I had to stop and think. Uh, some days I lose track of what day it is, especially since I've left the corporate world and yeah, I do. I lose track. So let me get some eyes going. How's everybody's week going so far? Come on. <clears throat> All right. If you guys caught my thrift haul that I did yesterday, this was one of the items that was in my thrift haul. And there was another cutting board too that I'm going to upcycle. And it was really vintage looking. It has some really cool, um, it was kind of like scooped out here in front and then had a real old vintage looking little chain on it. If you guys didn't see that, make sure you go back and check that video out because I still have items uh, for sale on um, my website. So good morning, Phyllis. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Brenda. There's Miss Tracy. Hello, lady. So come on in, guys. Uh, not so good. I'm homesick today. Debbie. Oh, bless your heart, hon. Oh, well, I hope you get to feeling better soon. Prayers sending your way. All right, well, we're going to get started on this. So I'm just going to, we're going to upcycle this. I never pass these up, especially if I can get them for next to nothing. This is like a blank canvas, y'all. Even if you don't want it to look like a cutting board, you can take that, cut that right off, make it straight across here. And then, like I said, you just have, I mean, wood's expensive. So when you can find a good cutting board or a piece of scrap wood, that solid wood, for next to nothing, you grab it. And I'm all about trying to keep it out of the landfill. So hi, Patty. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Miss Debbie. Thank you for sprinkling. You are so sweet. There's Miss Pat. Hey, Pat, how are you doing? <clears throat> hello, hello. Come on in, everybody. Okay, so we're going to get started. I went ahead and I painted the other side already. This is the color we're going to use. This is Faded Burlap by DIY. I love the natural, neutral color of this. I love burlap, so, you know, it reminds me of burlap, so... I knew it was going to be one I bought, but yes, we're going to use the Faded Burlap by DIY. I did not draw for the boxes yet, Deb. Nope. Hi, Rhonda. Good morning, April. Thank you. Not yet. I will be this week sometime, though, guys. I promise. I promise. I've actually got, got all the stuff put in two boxes, so... Happy Tuesday, Diane. Hi, Peggy. There's Miss Jill. Good morning, Jill. Or good afternoon, I guess I should say. <laughs> Honey and Bear Creates. Well, hello and welcome. Yes, hop on as your business page. Make sure you put your uh, real name in there too, like maybe in parentheses. I'm still working on, even my Craft Around the Clock family, I'm still working on putting actual names with business names. It's, <laughs> there's a lot of us <laughs> and I love it. Stephanie. All right, Stephanie. I was trying to do a word association there, but that's okay. So we're going to get started. We're going to get two coats paint on our cutting board. All I did was uh, wash this off regular soap and water and I let it dry. You guys, when you go thrifting, you know most of the time you you got to clean your items off. Now, it it has a natural patina on it. I'm never going to remove that. <laughs> but this I needed to, to wash. Make sure there was no nothing oily or gunky on it. Miss Sandra, hello, and thank you for sprinkling. It's hard to remember. Oh, I know, Pat. It is. I I struggle with it. <laughs> I've got the ones down that I see on a regular basis that I watch. 
but there's a lot of them I don't have and I try to chime in and figure out ways to remember everybody's name. Hi, Brenda from Tennessee. Hello and welcome. Now we're gonna be using some Iron Orchid Design stamps and transfers on this board. I thought about molds, but I opted not to. Miss Debbie, thank you. Hi, Sandy. But yes, yesterday I did my thrift haul when I went to um, the Six Flags. I, I know it's got a different name. I think it's like Midwest Flea Market Swap Meet or something like that. But since it's in the Six Flags, our Six Flags parking lot, that's what I kept calling it. <laughs> Hi, Marty from Texas. Hello and welcome. Crafty Queens, hello. Hi, Miss Sue. Miss Dahlia, thank you for sprinkling. <clears throat> Hello, Becky from Cold Rainy, Oklahoma. I need spring, hon. I do too. You find it, send it my way. Yeah. I am, I am so ready. <laughs> I am so tired of this cold, rainy, dreary. And then it's misleading. You wake up and the sun is shining, it's bright, and you're thinking, yes, it's gonna be nice. And then you walk outside and there's still frost on your windows. <laughs> I'm like, Ugh. but I do love the sun. Where are you located by a Six Flags? I am in Missouri. Um, I am about 45 minutes west of uh, St. Louis, Missouri, in a little town called St. Clair. St. Clair, Missouri. Population of probably yeah, 4,700, something like that. It's home. Barb, happy spring <laughs> from Pennsylvania. Hello, Barb. Happy spring to you, too. Yes, I guess yesterday was the first official, what, evening of spring? Isn't that what they say? Because it usually doesn't start till like, I don't know, four or something like that. So today's the first official day. But yesterday was my nephew's birthday, too. How often does Fenton have a flea market? I'm in Kansas City. They do it once a year. And it's usually, um, I guess in March. I think it was last year too. But last year's weather was way nicer than this year's. This year we got sleeted on and they started closing up at 11.30, packing up because of the sleet. But that was okay. I still found some good items. <laughs> Hi, Carolyn. I have family in Cape Girardeau. Sue, that is not too far. Mary from Ireland. Well, hello. What time is it in Ireland? Just curious. Okay, now the stamp we're gonna use is uh, Iron Orchid Designs and it is um, the Kindest Regards stamp. I love using that stamp. It's probably my most used one. The weather is deceiving here also. So, yes, I mean, I, I'll take the sun, but man, the wind is what's uh, making it even colder. Four forty-five p.m. in the afternoon. Okay. 
Yes, welcome newbies. Hey, sister. Do fog in and oh, while well, getting in and out twice. Ha. Huh. Okay, so we've got both sides, two coats. So what we're gonna do, this is my IOD Kindest Regards stamp. And I'm just gonna ink this whole thing up. And IOD does carry their ink pads and their own ink and stuff, but I never did order any of it because I've had this ink pad, it's Craftsmart ink that I've been using. I figured once I'm, I've uh, used this one till it doesn't work anymore, then I'll order new. <laughs> so you can use what you have. Okay, so let's see. I think I'm just going to do all the bottom down here. Let's see how well this works. Just rubbing it on. Now, if you guys are new to using the IOD stamps the first time, before you use them the first time, take like a 220 grit sandpaper and kind of scuff it up a little bit. So uh, it holds the ink, takes the ink in. So it's just kind of prepping your stamp. You will love being here at Becky's page. Make yourself at home and oh, thank you, Pam. And Sybil, welcome, welcome. So glad to have you. Yes, and if you want to get um, qualified to win the giveaway that we're going to be doing this week, I've got two boxes, two Happy Mail boxes that are going out. And I'm going to do the drawing this week, so they'll probably go out in Saturday's mail, if all goes well. And uh, all you have to do is make sure you're following me or you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, The Simple Spur Studio, and here on Facebook. And make sure you just put in the comments that you subscribed on uh, YouTube. And then I will add you to the list. And it's my way to show my appreciation for all of you guys helping me get to another milestone of hitting that 20,000 mark. Totally together creating with Brenda. Well, hello and welcome. I oh, know, I love this stamp. If you were gonna be a, a, just start out using IOD stamps, and you wanted to know like what stamp would be the main one that you would buy, it would be this one or anything with birds on it for me because I love birds. And I know I have a lot of you guys that love them too. But this is, this just works like a backdrop for all kinds of things, other stamps, uh, transfers, molds. And I think that's because it's so universal for that, that that's why I, I love it and it gets used so much. I'm gonna add some more ink here in places because I wanna get it all the way up. Let's see. I'll just ink the whole thing because I don't know what part I'm gonna use. Thank you, Jill. I'm following now, awesome, good deal. Hi, Miss Debbie, how are you doing? And if you guys have not checked out Craft Around the Clock, make sure you go over and check out that. That's crafting 24 seven over there, guys. Um, let's see, we're just gonna go with it. Subscribe to both, Jennifer, awesome, thank you. Yeah, the last couple videos I did, I actually uh, showed a peek of a few items that were gonna be in the, the Happy Mail boxes. So if you wanna go back and check some of the um, most recent videos, you can get a look at what's in those. Honey Bear Creates, thank you, good deal. 
Velveteen Heart. Hello, we've got some new pages on here that I'm not familiar with yet. So I've got to check them out and hit that follow button. Okay, so this is just our background. Love the script, kindest regards. And if you guys want to uh, know where I get my IOD or DIY paint products, um, you can order them from um, Mara with Vintage Retail Therapy. I did post her link in the uh, description, but Scrappy's Rustics also carries them, um, carries the IOD DIY products also. So we're gonna dry this a little bit because then we're going to, I've got, and to clean this off, I'm gonna use a baby wipe here in a second. And then you can just, you know, rinse it off with warm water and dry it. Evie, yay, catch your eyes. Yes. <laughs> you definitely, you need to clean the stamps off. And the better care you take care of them, you know, the longer they're going to last you. But I always take a baby wipe and just try to get as much as I can off of it now. And then... When I'm done crafting, I'll always take it and go wash it off, even better. Thank you, Miss Pat. Yeah, I try to use the baby wipes, you know, as soon as I can, because I don't have running water down here right now. So I always take it upstairs to the sink when I'm done. And, but that is coming. I'm telling you, we gutted our basement. That's where my studio is at, is in the basement. And um, it was a finished basement when we bought the house and we had two of the girls had their bedrooms down here. But we bought this house, it was so dated. I mean, it was in very good condition, good quality stuff, but it was like a 72 time capsule. So the girls were still in high school and so two of them had their rooms down here and one was upstairs, but then we had one move to Florida and the other two went into the Navy. So when we became empty nesters, we like just, we gutted everything down here. <laughs> we gutted the whole thing and it bathroom, it had like a wet bar and everything. But like I said, it was so 70s. And some of it was really cool. Some of the light fixtures and stuff we sold and a lot of the wood around the bar and stuff. Um, I saved that. I scrapbooked, or not scrapbook. I crafted with a lot of that. Good morning, Debbie. Hi, Des. How are you? Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to seal this in. Um, I did dry it with the heat gun. So I'm gonna use DIY Big Top, which is a sealer. And we are going to coat this lightly. Now, if you don't want it to smear at all, I would recommend spraying it with a top coat. I mean, because you do take the risk, take the risk of uh, it smearing. But you shouldn't have too much if you go over it lightly. But you do have to seal the paint because it is uh, a chalk paint. So you have to make sure that it's sealed because it can be reactivated when gotten wet. And then plus, if I'm gonna use um, a transfer, they do recommend for IOD transfers that you put a sealer down first. I have done it both ways, guys, I have to admit. I'm a rule breaker. <laughs> I have broke the rules several times. 
and it's worked out okay for me, but I have realized that it does go on much easier with less effort if you have it sealed, your piece sealed first. Ocean Breeze and Miss Mary, hello girl, how are you? And I have got your little uh, napkin decoupage basket with all the florals and Sweet Annie in it hanging upstairs on my, um, my blanket ladder. And it looks so good. I love it. So thank you, thank you. You did an awesome job on that. <clears throat> Just started lunch at work. Hi, Caddy. Now I am doing both sides of this board and it will be listed for sale on my website at thesimplestrewstudio.com. And actually it already is listed on there. So, so for those of you who are uh, new, when I do a thrift haul, like five minutes before I go live and show you the items that I've thrifted, um, I post all my items to my website live about five minutes before I show you them. So they're there so you can grab what you want at that time. Just hit follow. Where's the stencil from? Janet, the stencils are um, Iron Orchid Designs and I posted a link in the description for any IOD or DIY products. Um, a crafting sister of ours, uh, Mara, with Vintage Retail Therapy, sells them. You can also check Scrappy's Rustics, her site. She carries them. But a lot of the items, like if you go to the website, make sure if it says in the title, like this said cutting board, and then it will say read description. <clears throat> Because a lot of the items, I'll go ahead and list them. <clears throat> Got a tickle in my throat. Sorry, guys. I'll go ahead and list them, but they are to be upcycled. They're going to have something done to them. Like this one is getting painted, stamps, transfers. So there are uh, a handful of items on there of my last thrift haul. Pam, subscribe. Thank you. Oh, there's my sis out there. Hey, sis. My sister is Sherry Newton Willis, if you guys are wondering which one is my sister. <laughs> okay, so we've got it all sealed up, looks aged already, and I did scuff sand just a little bit around the edges just to uh, take a little bit of that paint off. We don't want it, I don't want it to look like brand new, like all this has been put on there. <laughs> Just recently, so while that is still setting up a little bit, we're going to go ahead and do the same to the other side. Like I said, this is going to be two sided, but yes, when you're on the website, make sure if it says read description that you read and see what's going to be done to it, if anything, not all of them get something done but a lot will. Is it Bar V Farmhouse Designs? Hello and welcome, got another newbie. Lily Murphy, I just, oh, I go to Simple Spruce Studio, YouTube, then I want to see something. I'm not sure if that constitutes subscribing. When you go to, um, the Simple Spruce Studio on YouTube, there's a red button that says subscribe. And don't let it fool you, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. That's just how they call it, what they call it. You know, you subscribe to someone's channel. It's free, didn't cost a thing. But yeah, you hit the subscribe button 
and then it'll tell you, then it'll go from subscribe to subscribed. And that means that you have pretty much followed me over there. And then you can also hit the little bell notification and then hit all. And then that will um, notify you anytime I upload a new video over there or go live. I know I've had a few people message me and ask. <laughs> I just put a handprint on myself. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> Because they thought that it um, cost money, but it does not. But if YouTube asks you if you want to sign up for YouTube Premium, hit no. Hit no. Because then they will charge a bite. Doesn't your sister have a craft page? My sister-in-law. Yes, Angie. She does also. Patty. That's her Yep. Oh, yeah, my sister just answered. <laughs> yes, that is our sister-in-law. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and seal this side because this one's going to get a transfer also. Yeah, me and, me and Angie started out um, together. And then life happens and... We both went kind of um, different directions and did our own little thing. So she's got hers now. I've got mine. Where did you get the super? I thrifted it. <laughs> I found this at Goodwill. It has the little holes on it. It had rails on it on three of the sides. <clears throat> so yeah that was like to me hitting the jackpot I'm like oh and I have other lazy Susans that I use upstairs so I knew I didn't need it for you know my kitchen dining room table or anything like that so and with painting guys if you guys do a lot of it these things come in handy unless you get too much sitting around you and when you go to turn it it hits everything <laughs> <clears throat> Angie's page is the honeysuckle haven Okay, let this dry now. I don't know if I've ever seen a spy hat and cap. <clears throat> Crafty queen. I had until I found this one. Because when I first seen it, I thought, oh, that's just a you know good solid piece of wood that I could use to make something out of. And then when I actually picked it up and realized how heavy it was, um... Oh, how cool. I like it. I had no idea, really. Um, a lot of people say that we remind each other a lot. Remind them of each other. <laughs> Patricia, I don't miss you. <sighs> I am using DIY's Big Top as a sealer. They also have a liquid patina that you can use as a sealer also. You can use it as like a decoupage medium, which I like way better than Mod Podge. A do a do. I use that for all my decoupaging and stuff. <clears throat> I was wondering if you and Angie are sisters. You look like sisters to me. LaDonna, she's my sister-in-law. She's actually married to my, my little brother. You think me and Angie look like, wait, yeah, wait till you see my sister. <laughs> People get us mixed up. Me and my sis. All right. 
Now that those are, make sure that is pretty well dry. Let's turn that over so I don't. Is calming to watch as our Becky is, both wonderful crafters, both. Oh, thank you, Phyllis. You are so sweet. Hi, Mary Lou. <clears throat> okay. So I think the side with, what time did I start? 11.15. I got to remember I'm on a time thing. Usually I'm just crafting along. <laughs> uh, so we're going to use, I've got scrap pieces left, guys, that I am using up. So Patricia, I love watching both of you. <laughs> That is good. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is cut this flower. And you don't think that you have to use your transfers exactly the way they come on the paper. You do not. You can cut and manipulate them however you like. So I'm going to cut this one flower off. I think. And then I think I might cut it off up here and put it to where it looks like it's blooming right next to it. Good morning, Cindy. Let's see, how do I want to do that? I'll just go ahead and cut it out. I was wondering about a transfer. I did not know if you could put one on before or if you had to leave it for after. Usually you can, um, you can overlap your transfers to put one on top of the other but they recommend that you seal it and it's easier to get it to adhere to your uh surface if you do seal it first i've done it both ways so i can honestly say that you can do it you just have to rub a little bit harder to do it i think we're going to put that one there and then we might even okay so we're gonna start with the big one first but then once you get your transfer on once I get this on I will also go back over the transfer with uh, the sealer again Okay, so I'm just going to try and get this where I want it. Lay it down, then they all come with, let me find it, one of these little tools, and you just start rubbing it onto your surface. And what I like to do is start pulling it up from one area. Miss Lisa from Michigan, hello. How are you doing? I just start pulling it up and if I see where it's not rubbed all the way down, I just lay my paper back down and rub back over it until it does stick. They are very easy to work with, guys. So don't let them intimidate you at all. They're fun. They're like grown-up stickers on steroids or something. They're awesome. And they can take such a plain, simple item that you can get from a thrift store or a dollar store. I prefer you thrift. But 
I don't thrift everything, I know that. Um, but it can take an item, a simple item, and just take it up a whole nother notch and make it look high end. I love that about these. So see if something's not sticking, just go slow. They call that riding the wave. Just keep pulling it up as you're rubbing. Make sure everything's sticking. If not, lay it back down and rub some more. So again, guys, if you want to be included in the drawing that I'm gonna be doing this week, I haven't set a date yet, but you guys will be the first ones to know when I do it. <laughs> um, all you have to do is be subscribed to YouTube, my YouTube channel, The Simple Spur Studio, and following me here on Facebook. And I know I'm saying all kinds of words that Facebook doesn't like me to use, but. And then I usually take my piece and rub back over it, burnish it make sure every piece is down okay hello L I am not very good at crafting but think I might try these transfers I will have to look for the stickers on steroids. <laughs> That's what I call them. They're like grown up, grown up stickers, guys. They're awesome. I love them. Okay, now we're gonna add this because this looks like it broke off like there was a flower there. So I am, and it doesn't matter if it's overlapping onto the other part of your stencil. You can overlap your stencils. When you're done, if you want it to look like it's a piece that has been on here for a while and not something new, which that's what I love, you can lightly take a 220 grit sandpaper and sand over it just to scuff up the image so it looks like it's been worn and it's been on there. That's my fave. Okay, again, we're gonna start over here and just start lifting. It's that easy. My TV keeps flashing. I was sitting down here watching the new season of Outer Banks before I came on live. But look how good that's looking, guys. Is that not beautiful? Now that kindest regards stamp in the background. I love that. Love it, love it. You guys, let me know what you think. Do you like it? Okay, and then we still have some leaves over here that I am, I'm going to add. I'm going to use them. I've got space, so we're going to do this thing. Let's see. I want to try to get most of the greenery on there. Love it, love it. Oh, I'm glad you guys like it. Like I said, and you get, when you order those books, the transfer books, there are so many pieces on there. You can do large projects, small ones. They go a long way. Again, we're gonna ride the wave here. Make sure it's all sticking down. And I got pieces that are hanging off, which is fine. You can actually wrap it around the side if you want. I'm just gonna let mine tear off at the edge.
And then I've got a little piece here that I want to fill in. So that's what I'm saying, guys. You can use these in any random form you want. Let me show you. Close up. How cute. Where do you get the transfer books from? I order mine from uh, Mara with the Vintage Retail Therapy. Her link is in the description. So, look at that. How cute. Remember, it will be listed, or it is already listed on the website, but it is just the plain board. But that price includes me upcycling this. Now, what I'm going to do is I will clear coat this with Big Top again. But I'm going to add a transfer to this side, but I'm not going to use the background for it. Because this one doesn't have any color to it. I do not want the pastry thing on the bottom. I will save that for another project, probably a smaller one. Same as this. See the wording that was on the other flower? one that I just used. I will save that. I love the writing. So we are going to place this one on here. Is there something on the bunny heads on the top shelf? Is there something on the bunny heads? Oh, you mean like a tutorial? Yes. But the, it goes a while back. But if you just go to my page and uh, click on the little magnifying glass and type in like uh, stuffed bunny heads or something like that, it will bring you to the tutorial that I did those on. And those are still listed on the website for sale too. Took me a minute <laughs> to understand what you were asking. I'm like, what? I was thinking something actually on the bunny head. <laughs> I was like, it could be a cat. <laughs> Last time I was live down here, I had a cat walking around back there and didn't realize it till she went to jump down. <laughs> but yes, and the bottom of those bunny heads, there's Mr. Bunny Head and Mrs. Bunny Head. And uh, the bottom of them is weighted to help them stand up. They're made out of drop cloth. Their little ears have the wire in them. That you can make them stand up in any way you want. They were fun to make. You guys know that I love, if you've been with me anytime, you know I love making things out of drop cloth. I've got pillows, two of the pillows that are in the uh, Happy Meal boxes going out for the drawing have drop cloth Easter pillows in them. Oh, Sue, uh, the melange, I think it's the, is it called that, melange one, melange, I'll have to check and put it in the description, but I think that's the one I'm using both of these out of, my little bitty letters, there they go, it's like they're fighting me on wanting to stick. won't get to see me seal them but you will get to see the finished both sides finished I am going to add some jute rope to the top so it can be hung up also and there is that side I'm telling you best stickers ever made best ever made oh brocante thank you I think that's what it is Cindy now that you say that yes thank you thank you I was like I know somebody's gonna know <laughs> so I will go back over these with the big top to seal my transfers in it'll just give the paint an extra coat of sealer I'm gonna put a jute twine uh, hanger in this and then I will post new pictures 
of the updated version of our board on um, the website. So that easy, guys. It took just an old generic cutting board and you got two sides and took it up a whole nother level. And it's beautiful and very neutral, very spring. So, all right, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I want to thank you all for joining me, supporting me. And make sure you go over and check out the YouTube side and subscribe. And then just come back and let me know that uh, you subscribed. And I will add you to the list. And we're going to do that drawing this week. And hopefully the packages will go out Saturday morning. So, thank you, guys. And stay tuned on Craft Around the Clock. It's going to be... Uh, I think it's Jessica's Party Decor and More is up next. So if you haven't checked her out, make sure you go check her out. So thank you guys. I love you and bye.